Hi, my name is Ryan Alphick and I'm a park ranger on the Sunshine Coast. I have the unique responsibility of looking after some of our most beautiful marine parks in the province. Hi, my name is Dylan and I'm a park ranger on the Sunshine Coast. I get to be in beautiful places, and work with people who are very passionate about their work, protecting parks and protected areas. I'm Doug Bifford, I work as an aquatic ecologist for BC Parks. I've been doing the job for uh, about 14 years now. The marine park system in British Columbia, which started back 100 years ago, our anniversary year, in 1911 with the establishment of Strathcona, we protected an estuary on the west coast of Vancouver Island. So that estuary has remained undisturbed by human activities, direct human activities, for 100 years now. We can go in and see what the natural function of that estuary is and then compare it to the other estuaries that are up and down the coast that are being used by humans for all kinds of important economic and recreational activities. Our marine parks and our provincial park system provide a really important role to protecting our shoreline marine environments. Our shorelines along the coast are prime real estate for development, so these parks play a vital role in protecting and setting aside some really key habitat in our coastline. Smuggler's Cove Provincial Park is a special park because it offers a wide range of opportunities for a bunch of different user groups. It has a beautiful terrestrial trail that you hike through a beautiful wetland that's been created by beavers in the park, and at the end of the trail you end up on the rocky bluffs looking out at the Strait of Georgia. It's also a really nice sheltered anchorage for recreational boaters who are cruising up and down the coast. And it also offers a great place for kayakers to come in on day trips and, and there's even a few campsites where kayakers can pull out and spend the night here in this beautiful, beautiful place. My favorite park is Buccaneer Bay Provincial Marine Park. It's a special place because it boasts one of the most beautiful beaches in Georgia Strait. It's a lovely sandy beach that's inviting for folks to come and camp and hang out and play volleyball. And for folks from the community of Seashelt and Pender Harbor to just come over for a brief day trip. Our environment is changing rapidly and as climate change has an effect on um, temperatures in our oceans and the sea level in our oceans will have an effect on, on the critters in the intertidal zone here. They are extremely sensitive to temperature change and, and it can really affect their abundance and their range and their diversity. And we can use these parks as baseline data to help us monitor those changes through time. So in a place like Buccaneer Bay where we have erosion and accretion already happening as a function of the ecosystem, we may be seeing those functions happen at a faster rate. And if we're able to monitor and understand the changes in the ecosystem and and how the, the fish and the birds adapt to those changes, it might tell us something about how we can manage our shorelines up and down the coast of British Columbia. So right here at Botanical Beach, we have an excellent example of where we need to monitor for sea level rise. This beach that's behind us uh, is a gravel beach backed up with forest. And as sea level rises, that beach is gonna move a bit more. It's gonna become more dynamic. So the intertidal species will have to move up a little bit and the forest will have to creep back a little bit. And we can set up a monitoring program to look at that as that changes. When you get to meet people in the parks, they're often at their best because they, they're with their families, they're on holidays, and they're having an outdoor experience. I like to go out and experience nature. I especially like to go underwater. Uh, and see the, the, the marine life in its natural environment, which not a lot of people get to do. But through my job, I actually be able to bring that back and talk to the general public, integrate that into the work I do in conserving the natural environment and helping people see the natural environment is really the core of my values and I really enjoy being able to work that into my, my work life. I love going to work every day as a park ranger on the Sunshine Coast because I get the great opportunity to share these beautiful marine parks with the public and hopefully when they meet me and talk with me, they walk away with a new appreciation for these marine parks and how they can enjoy them responsibly.